Boom! What is going on, my friends? We are not in my car, but I'm still calling this Podcast Marketing Secrets in the Car because it's that's the name of the show. I'm not going to change it, period. <laughs> okay, so today I have something really special for you. I have three things for you or three different frameworks you can use to grow your show. These are three things you can always use that are going to give you magnetic content. Three things that people are always going to click on, they're always going to use, they're always going to be of interest to somebody. So if you're starting a podcast or you're launching a show and you don't know what to say or maybe you're you're afraid that you're going to run out of content or you're afraid that you're going to run out of things to talk about or that you're going to be talking about stuff that's just not really that interesting, right? I'm going to give you three frameworks today that are going to help you blunt this. And you can even start your own show off of these these three different frameworks. You can go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That would be quite hard, but you can do a whole show around these three things, right? It's going to be super simple. Anyone can do them. They're not like special things, and uh, you're going to like them. So um, number one, well, I guess – do I do I do, I don't know if I do I have to do it? Do I have to do it? Maybe I have to tell you guys, tell you listening to the end of that of this, um, why this is important. I think it's really important. <laughs> Let me ask my own question. It's really important that you get these because if you are boring, it will kill your podcast. I'm gonna say that again. If you're boring. It will kill your podcast. And it doesn't mean you have to be interesting. You just have to be unique. Um, I'm not an interesting guy. I just like to – I find shit that works and I find things that work and I go ahead and talk about them, right? Um, so yeah. So they're, they're important because if you're, if you're boring, your podcast will not grow. People will not listen and you will likely give up very, very soon. Okay. So number one, number one, number one framework or thing you can always do, we can always refer back to um, – in your podcast that's always going to get listens is reading the mail from your listeners. This is email, physical mail, or voicemail from your listeners. So get your listeners to call in, either download that recording and use it in your episode or you just read it off and say their name if they like. And this is always something you can refer back to. I know shows – I listen to shows actually that do this all the time. Every single episode, they have a new listener read. and. A, that person who wrote it is going to share it and they're going to be really happy you wrote it as long as you don't piss them off and like call them an idiot after you've read their question. Um, And then B, it's always something new and fresh. Like the listener on the other side of this, think about this. You're the listener and you have – they say, oh, listener question of the week. Here we go. Like they don't – you don't know what's going to happen. So it's a bit of novelty. What's up, Steven? Um, it's a bit of novelty that you can always refer back to. You can always use. It's ne- There's no work on your end. So using listener mail, getting people to DM you, getting people to um, send you a voicemail, an email, just to get A, to collect leads if you're trying to coach. Um, and then B, it's novelty. People love novelty. It's one of our cognitive biases. We always will be intrigued and engaged by novelty. So you can use this in your email scripts. You can use this on your podcast titles. All kinds of stuff. It always works. Number two is case studies. So if I did a podcast called How I um, 10X My Income in Seven Days, here's how, or How I 10X My Income in Seven Days, everybody would listen to that. They'd want to know. So case studies on what you've done. Maybe if you're a fitness professional, how I drop to 12% body fat in seven days or 17 days or 30 days. How I lost 66 pounds in 45 days. Um, case studies on yourself, maybe what you're doing, what you're, what you're up to, different experiments you're running. Like if you look at um, Tim Ferriss, he did this and his show blew up. What's up, Patrick? Um, so Tim Ferriss did this. His whole blog blew up. He did this the whole time he was doing the 4-Hour Work Week, the 4-Hour Body, the 4-Hour Chef. If you look at all of those three books, they're big because they're – Case studies on what he's testing on himself. He was a human guinea pig. He crushed it. I love his blog, by the way. So, case studies on how yourself is number two. Um, on how you can get very viral content that's always going to land with your audience. Granted, it's not hard. It's not easy to do this shit, but it works. And the last way you can 
always create content that's going to engage and connect with people is listicle. So very simple, you know, seven ways to grow your podcast fast or seven ways to get a hundred thousand downloads in 10 days. These simple, but very enticing benefit rich titles and, and hooks work. They flat out work, whether you like them or not, they work. If you use them in your show, you will get more downloads. You will get more engagement. People will be cur- will be curious as to what you're doing and they will listen to your show. So um, use them. I'm gonna run through them again because we had some people jump on here a little late. Number one, this is three things you can use, three, three frameworks you can use to always get more downloads, always grow your show. Um, number one is using listener voicemail or listener mail or emails. So reading off the questions you're getting in, it's novelty, people love that, people always always uh, go for that. Uh, number two is using case studies, whether that's your own personal case studies or your own uh, or maybe clients or friends or whoever, you can use a case study. I would title it like how Johnny um, reduced his insurance his insurance bill by 79% in 12 days. Something similar like that. What's up, Mike? And number three, before I get off here, I got to go to a meeting, um, is listicle. So listicle content always works, you know, 12 ways I grew my, 12 ways to grow your podcast to 100,000 downloads in 30 days will always work. So listicles, case studies, and reading your voicemail, reading your mail from your audience, always going to work. Those are three frameworks you can always use to get more downloads, to get more engagement, to get more subscribers. And ultimately, I think to get people who don't know you, who, who aren't in your world already, to get them curious enough to click and then start to consume your content and start to go down the rabbit hole of whatever you're trying to sell or whatever you're pitching, whatever your mission is, right? So that's it, guys. Love all y'all on here, all y'all my buddies. So I'll catch y'all later. Got a meeting to run to. Peace out.